is the ASUS Extreme Design motherboard M4A88TD-V EVO USB 3 uh, It's part of ASUS Extreme Design series of motherboard They boast in number one in performance, safety and reliability And this motherboard supports a 6 core AMD 2 uh, core based CPU AM3 socket is Windows 7 ready ATI 4250 integrated graphics 88, 880G <coughs> chipset from AMD and supports the X3 and X4 Phenom 2 processors although not mentioned that it also supports the Athlon 2's the basically all AM3 processors on the market you can, you can go up to a 2000 uh, megahertz <coughs> with a DDR3 frequency with overclocking and there's a special feature called the core unlocker which allows you to unlock a uh, hidden cores from the Phenom 2, X3, or maybe X2, or Athlon 2, X2, X3, X4 uh, to actually unlock their hidden cores and um, give you extra performance uh, for at a cheaper price. There's a 8 plus 2 phase uh, power design and 128 megabytes of side port memory for the IGP. Yes, then the Crossfire X support. <laughs> Over here at the side, let's see we have uh, again the core unlocker feature, the GPU boost, which actually allows you to overclock the IGP, the uh, ATI 4250 uh, to a higher frequency. <laughs> MEM OK is actually uh, ensures memory boot compatibility. Uh, if there's anything wrong with the uh, RAM of your system, they will actually troubleshoot for you and make sure that it actually boots your system boots. Turbo QE2 is a automatic automatic overclocking feature of the motherboard, which allows you to do easy overclocking just by switching on the switch. Oh, one main feature of this motherboard is its uh, USB 3.0 with the NEC chip on board. Let's open. Let's now see what's inside the box. First, you have a uh, ASUS M4888TD-V EVO USB 3 user guide, and there's the driver CD and the case batch from ASUS. It's a uh, in English. Then you have a uh, ASUS Q connectors. Basically, you just uh, connect all your front audio uh, or me, I mean your front panel cables to this. And you just plug this whole thing in to the motherboard itself. Then we have a USB, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, six SATA six gigabit per second cables. These are one of them is 180 degree to 90 degree, while the other is 180 to 180 degree. And on then we have more SATA cables, an IDE cable from ASUS. And the input output shoe. This input output shoe is actually padded, which uh, reduces your vibration so that it doesn't make a lot of noise, and also uh, it also prevents uh, electromagnetic interference. And let's take a look at the board itself. This is the M4A88TD-V EVO USB 3 motherboard you are looking at. Okay, first off, we have see, you can see the 8 plus 2 power design, uh, 8 plus 2 phase power design. And this is the AM3 socket. You can put in your Phenom 2s, your Athlon 2s, and your Samprons, and all actually basically all AM3 processors. Then uh, we have your Four, four sockets. It's in four sockets for your DDR3 RAM, which supports up to 2,000 megahertz with overclocking. And over here, we have the look at the VRM cooler over here. It's quite a cool design, like an icicle. Then we have this is your North Bridge cooler. This is your South Bridge. Okay, over here we have a PCI Express. 
2.0 X1 this can support mainly your uh, sound card and things like that then you have a PCI Express X16 slot for your graphics card then a PCI normal PCI another model PCI then have another we have another USB uh, I mean a PCI Express X16 slot then another PCI slot uh, this board does support Crossfire X and you will you run actually X16 X4 so actually I will recommend you to just run one card off from here and use uh, maybe for this for another maybe a uh, USB 3.0 add-on card or other add-on card that uses the PCIe interface over here at the down here uh, over, over down here we have our um, USB 2.0 front panel header and also a fire wire header and the front pan front panel control then we have an ID port over here we have five SATA 6 gigabit per second ports this is your 24 pin motherboard connector and over here we have these two switches this uh this is actually the core unlocker and the turbo key to switch and together with the mem ok button over here over here we have a 8 pin motherboard connector okay let's move on to the input output connectors ports here we have a ps2 uh, keyboard or mouse connector with two usb at the bottom we have a spd optical and hdmi output then we have a uh, oh yeah the hdmi actually supports a uh, high definition audio through out here as well um, there's a dvi port a vga port two more usb with a fire wire and a eSATA usb 2.0 combo here in the blue color is uh, actually are the USB 3.0 uh, ports. So make sure that you actually use your USB 3.0 devices with these two ports. Uh, we have Gigabit Ethernet and 8 channel audio. Okay, that's all for this board. And actually, this board also supports the hybrid crossfire. Uh, if you add on a a uh, graphics card that supports uh, with hybrid graphics with the 4250 from AMD uh, from ADI you can actually do a hybrid crossfire so that's all for this board uh, let's look at the benchmarks let's take a look at our uh, benchmark setup with a uh, 9800 GT this is a Phenom 2 96, uh, 965 this is a C3 stepping uh, we have uh, 2 gigs of instant value RAM Yes. OCZ a solid series of SSD these they are in rate zero configuration. You have a Corsair HS six twenty watts power supply. For more information about this product, you can visit www.tunmycomdoboxport.com or feel free to email me at yzook.techgigsg at gmail.com. Thank you very much and hope you have a nice day.